Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, or oh, if you're new here, hi, my name is Liz, thank you so much for clicking on this video today. Now today we have a fun video, this was very popular back in the day, about five years ago, there was loads of different versions and like different ways of doing it, but today we're going to be doing Google Picks My Makeup. I'm super excited to do this because I want to do more challenges on my channel, make it fun and interactive with you guys. But before we begin, please consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more videos like this from me. And if you do enjoy this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and let me know what you want to pick my makeup next. Even do it on like specific brands as well, or like Sephora and Cop Beauty, Boots. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below. But if you are struggling to find a comment, then comment anything. Comment Google, perfect, helps me out. Anyway, if you wanna see what Google picks to put on my face, then keep on watching. Okay, so the way I'm gonna go about this is I'm gonna type in like primer and then the first or second one that comes up depending what I've got. Um, I will use. There are different varieties of like how to do this but there was one where you type in your first like your initials and then look. Maybe I'll do that next time. If you want to see that then let me know but that's like for a specific eye look. I want to do a full face today. I want to make it full and fun. I'll put it up on the screen here. Primer. Now it did pop up with two primers these two. The first one I come up with is the Beauty Crop Wishery Gripping Primer. This one is a goodie. But then it also come up with the Refi, I think it's just called the Face Primer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this one first because why not? So this one's just going to help hydrate my base and it does go a little bit tacky as well. But for maximum stickiness, grippiness, I'm going to go in with the Wishery Primer. So this one's really going to grip my makeup onto my skin for ages. I really do like this one. It's hydrating, it's grippy. I'm going to leave it on my skin to settle for a couple of seconds. Then we'll apply the foundation. Okay, so then for foundation, I'm gonna take the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I'll pop it on the screen again. This was actually the first one that came up and just a little FYI, it's on offer. Don't know if it's gonna be on offer when you watch this, but we'll see. Just gonna dot that all over my face. It's in the shade Barcelona, by the way. So this foundation gives a really nice natural finish and it literally feels weightless. So it feels like you haven't got anything on, which I love personally. But it's got good coverage, so if you like coverage, then I highly recommend this. I'm really patting that into my skin. And then for cream bronzer, I actually came up with the Refi Cream Bronzer. This is in the shade Sand. Okay, I think I need a darker shade. Okay, I definitely need a darker shade in that. Oh my god, I've hit pan. What? I must have liked this in the past. It hasn't given me much colour because it's quite similar to my skin tone or my foundation. It is a really nice bronzer. So then with cream blush, it came up with the Made by Mitchell Curve Case and do you know what? I'm not mad at it because I absolutely love these. I'm going to go in with the shade Sweet Cheeks. This one here, a nice pink. See how that just melts into the skin? Like I say it every time but it is just beautiful. So this concealer wasn't the first one on the list. The first one was the Hourglass Concealer which I still am dying to try but it's like £35 so I cannot, I can't do it. I just can't do it guys. So I'm gonna go for the second one on the list which is the L'Oreal More Than, Infallible More Than Concealer. This is probably just as good if not better but it's literally like £9, but it's always on offer. I went through a phase of literally using this all the time. I'm going to let that sit there for a little bit to marinate. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna blend that out with a brush now and I'm gonna take it onto my lid. This concealer is one of the concealers that doesn't crease under my eyes and again, for the price, it's so good. Because that concealer shade was very much my skin tone, I'm gonna go in with the shade Eggshell just here to help brighten. And again, let that sit for a little bit. Okay, so now I'm just gonna blend that, but keep it like in that corner. So then of course the first powder that come up was the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. This is in the shade Pound Cake and you best believe I have got the peach pie ordered and I'm going to be collecting it today from Boots. I wish it was here already but oh well. I'm going to take that, tap it off on the back of my hand, really work it in there. I don't have any crease in. Look at that. Stunning. This is definitely hands down my favourite powder. I'm just going to put that everywhere else as well. Such a good powder. If you haven't tried it, then definitely go grab it when it's on offer. I think they are on offer at Boots at the moment, but again, it depends when I'm posting this. I'm filming this on the Friday. I'm posting it on the Monday. My Makeup Mondays, you know. And then, of course, like Google knows my favourite products, the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in specifically the shade Dark Tan. Nothing else compares to this. Just going to take it on a big fluffy brush. And because that cream didn't give me much colour, we're going to go quite heavy handed with this. And then blusher. I haven't used this. I've had this in my drawer for months and I just haven't touched it because it scares me because of how much it is. This is the Dior Backstage Rosy Glow in the shade 00 Pink. How... Pretty is that shade. It's coming off a little bit lighter in the camera. In person, it's a lot more like vibrant pink, like baby doll pink. How pigmented is it gonna be? Okay, quite a nice soft pink, which again, I love. She's cute. I didn't wanna like this, guys. First impressions, that is very, very pretty, and it's actually got a nice dew to it. I mean, it does say glow, so how much are these? £34. Okay. £34 for a blush. Eyebrows, it came up with, of course, the Benefit Goof Proof Powder, brow powder. Again, do they know what I use or something? Where's my brush? They do say your phones listen to you, so maybe that's what it is. Maybe. What I love about this powder is the colour. So I use 3.5 and it's not too cool toned, it's like a neutral tone because I do like my eyebrows a little bit more like ashy. I don't like them warm. Don't give me any orange tones, please. Yeah, absolutely stunning. Again, if you haven't tried that, then definitely get your hands on it because it's so like natural and it's easy to move, if that makes sense. So the eyeshadow palette that it came up with is the Too Faced Born This Way, the Natural Nudes palette and I mean this is gorgeous. I'm thinking of doing maybe some pinky tones because it's Valentine's Day coming up and I know I did a Valentine's Day in my last video but it's fitting you know so we're gonna do it. We're gonna go all out today. I'm gonna go in with the shade Nude which is this one. This is gonna be just my crease shade. I love it when like time of year is where it's it's the time of year where there's an event on, like Valentine's Day or Christmas, Halloween, because I literally have so much to film and I absolutely love it. Then we're gonna take a more pink shade, which is Warm Rose with this one. Ooh, that looks prettier on the eye than in the pan. I'm gonna go in with Truffle, which is this one, which is the much darker shade. Sort of like winging this out. I think that actually looks stunning. And then I think I'm gonna go in with rose gold and I'm gonna take this with my finger. I've just cut my nails down, which is so much handier. Oh, I think this is better than my Valentine's Day makeup. <laughs> that is stunning. And then I'm gonna just finish it off by taking Glistening Snow, which is the end one, shimmer. And I'm gonna that 
in my inner corner and I'm gonna pop it on my my brow bone god I wasn't gonna put lashes on with this but I feel like I need to this has given me 2016 makeup and I am living for it okay so I'm gonna leave it there for the eyes for now as in eyeshadow I'm gonna curl my lashes. So I am gonna pop on a little bit of the Maybelline Lash uh, Sky High Mascara, the burgundy one, but only put in a little bit of that on. And I think I have decided I'm gonna go in with a lash. So just gonna line my lash line with the NYX Epic Ink Liner, which actually got recommended when I typed in eyeliner. Should have done this before the mascara, but ooh, wow, this is black. This is very wet. Hey, that is the wettest eyeliner I've ever used. Good though, very black. I'm gonna go off and put a lash on and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just applied my lashes to my outer corner and I did underneath my eye. I think it's really opened up my eyes and made them look bigger. Like, crazy. Next is lips. The lip liner that came up was the Refi Lip Sculpt. This is in the shade Rosewood, and if I'm honest, again, this is one of my favourite lip liners. And then lip gloss, <laughs> I don't want to sound like a broken record, but this is one of my favourites as well. The Fenty Gloss Bomb, this is in the shade Fussy. These smell so good. They smell insane. I really love the heat ones as well, but this is just the original gloss bomb. That lip goes perfect. This is one of my favourite lip combinations because it's very natural. It's not too in your face, it's pink. I think the pink tone suits me. So let's sort out my hair. Okay, so that is everything. Oh, I didn't do setting spray. It's come up with the Weetery. Okay, so I'm gonna take the Weetery setting spray then. Again, this is one of my favourites. This just sets everything so nicely. Okay, so now that is everything. That is everything for my Google Pits My Makeup. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I certainly did. It was very fun, it was very different. My hair is wild at the moment. I'm definitely gonna do more of these challenges on my channel. If you want to see those then do leave me some recommendations of what to pick my makeup next. If you did enjoy this video then please consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more videos like this from me and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you do enjoy it and like I said leave the recommendations in the comments down below and I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a lovely day or evening and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!